This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. And Cormega has his album out right now. Make sure you go get that. All right. So we got little baby. He was up at the breakfast club. He unpacks a few things. Okay. One thing he unpacks is uh, in two songs, he says, I don't want your girl. We can't swap it out. This is stand on it. Now, he actually goes more in detail um, when he says uh, she's super f- friendly and I like her a uh, guy who can and she likes her guy who can spend it. I'm telling you, don't bring her around. She posted a picture without my permission. Got me in some stuff, man. These women is wow. I was talking about Sweetie when she was chilling with the uh, little baby, right? Sweetie's allegedly smashed Offset, broke up the Migos, smashed little baby to get back at Offset. And Quavo, uh, she's been passed around like a baton in a in a marathon. Okay, uh, it's hey, she could live out what she wants, but don't don't act like you ain't getting passed around the bat- like a baton, and don't act like Quavo was the love of your life. Get get out of here! You smashed Offset. If he was the love of your life, you wouldn't have done that. Okay, uh, Quavo said we ain't tripping. We can swap it out. QC the label. Okay, that was before, you know, but it was funny when he said that. We'll get, I guess we'll unpack more of that later. Uh, Benny the Butcher believes people a love-hate relationship with rappers. He's like, yo, us rappers, this is what's funny about this. Benny the Butcher, he can rap. He says, us rappers, you know, we have a love-hate relationship. People love us, but they also hate us, right? They love to hate us. Every interview, you can hear him saying he's not a rapper. Yo, I ain't one of these rapper guys. I ain't one of these rapper guys. But then all of a sudden, now he's a rapper guy. It's like, shut up. Yo, I'm sick of it, man. I'm sick of these people like, oh, I'm a rapper. I'm not a rapper. I'm right. Ra-. You know, like you, it's cool to say be a rapper, but say you're not a rapper. <laughs> so stupid. It's just dumb. I know you're a clown when you start talking like that. Clown. Okay. Uh, then we got Glorilla. She gives Cardi B a Patek. Hey, she got to keep that relationship. She's got a number one. Now, Cardi B looks like, I don't know. She looks a little weird in this photo, right? She got a lot of different looks. That's all I'll say. It doesn't look weird. It looks different. Not weird. She looks different. She has a lot of different looks. Kim Kardashian. Um, she writes a letter saying, free Gunna. Imagine sitting in a jail cell for 155 days. No bond when only ev- evidence against you is a ticket and unrelated window tent. Someone saying you weren't in a gang. That's my friend. Sergio finds himself today uh, after... Uh, are they friends? Uh, after having his bond denied for the third time, despite being zero evidence that he committed a crime. Earlier this year, I had the pleasure of meeting Sergio, a.k.a. Gunna. He appreciated my interest in criminal justice reform and asked me to take a look into his cousin's case. Since his incarceration, I have worked with his legal team, and the facts of the case are yet another example of why justice system is anything but just. Uh, some of the facts include prosecutor alleged witness intimidation, yet not a single person said he threatened them or had anyone else threaten them. Prosecutors alleged uh, he'd had a nurse sneak him drugs, yet the nurse says this is untrue. There is zero evidence this happened. Prosecutors alleged he was in a gang based on a witness testimony, but when you read that testimony, it specifically says that he is not in a gang. Witnesses don't really know him and interviews is three years old. Even though there is no evidence of trying a single crime, doing a single crime, showing that he's a risk to the community, had his bond denied again. His trial is set for January, but will likely continue, continued meaning he will sit in jail even longer. Sergio deserves better. We should demand for better. Free Ghana. She's right. She is right. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.